So, today is Friday. The weekend is upon us. You guys doing anything fun this weekend? I think I'm gonna be taking my wife to the Cheesecake Factory. You guys ever been there? So good. This weekend should be pretty fun, and today I'm gonna try to kick things off in a big way with what will hopefully be a pretty cool review. Drop that intro. What is happening guys? Mike here, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a very close look at a new product that was recently sent to me for review from a brand called Jack Henry. This is actually a homebrewing company out of Colorado for those who've never heard of the brand. The way they actually got started was when one of the founders was looking for a hair product for his son. And through doing so, he was pretty surprised at what ingredients were being used in hair products today. So from there, they decided to create their own product that was all natural, safe, non-toxic, and of course, one that worked well. Their line currently consists of two products, their OG pomade and their clay pomade. Today we are actually just gonna focus on the clay and we're gonna jump right into it here because we're actually going to spend quite a bit longer than usual on the demos for this product. I will though go ahead and just kind of tell you guys up front, this product really surprised me during the testing. Before we get to all that though, we do need to take a closer look at this product. Here we go. This is the clay pomade from Jack Henry, a product designed to deliver supreme control and unbelievable texture. According to the brewers, the clay pomade from Jack Henry is a beeswax-based clay pomade that offers a natural hold and a matte finish. It's also designed to work with all hair types and features all natural ingredients and a light lavender scent. The clay pomade is offered in both four and two ounce sizes at $32 for four ounces and $22 for two ounces. Looking at the outsides of the product, we have here a glass four ounce jar with a really clean matte black label. The overall design is really clean and minimalistic and gives the product a nice classy look overall. Looking inside the jar, we do have what we would expect from a clay appearance wise. The actual scoop on this one is a little thicker initially, but even the slightest pressure causes the product to immediately begin breaking down. It's actually really easy to make the product go completely clear in the hand, and while breaking it down, you do have a little bit of a gritty feeling coming from the clay. The formula is also something quite unique. It doesn't contain water or petro, so it doesn't fall into either category we usually see. In fact, this clay actually only contains three ingredients besides the scent. Time to put this to work. I'm starting the demo today with dry hair here. Of course, I'm not using any pre-stylers or anything that could impact the performance. And as I apply the clay, I get a smooth yet gritty feeling that's somewhat familiar to me based on other things I've used. Another thing I did notice is I don't get a lot of tug and pull here, which is nice. And after using two scoops, I feel that the hair is able to be styled fairly easily. Also using a comb and brush isn't a problem as far as styling the hair goes. And after a little bit of effort, I feel I was able to get a pretty good style. Now that was on dry hair, but the directions here from the brand actually say to style on damp hair. And of course I had to give that a try too. And that's where actually things got a little interesting. I started off here with damp hair that was freshly washed and towel dried. Adding in the clay here though resulted in something totally different than when I styled with dry hair. The first thing I noticed was that I got a ton more hold, a totally different feeling than I had with dry hair. I'm only actually needing one scoop here and I felt like that was plenty good enough to style with. While combing and sculpting, I did find some difficulties though, similar to what I found with dry hair, mostly being that the hair did not want to stick together very well, making getting volume a little bit hard to do. But after some effort, I was able to get a style that I was pretty happy with. The finish here in this style does look very different than with the dry style, obviously because it's damp. It even had a little bit of hardening to it, which made me really curious to see what would happen after it dried, which here we see gave it a much different look. To my surprise, after it dried, the hardening lifted and the finish totally changed, becoming much more closer to matte or natural than what we were getting before. My hair also just feels so much better than when I initially applied. Getting volume is so much easier and sculpting a style is now like I'm styling with a totally different product. 
This was just nuts for me. The product totally changed on me after it dried. I initially was like, this really isn't working out that much for me. It was a little stringy, it hardened up a little bit, then boom, it just goes through this little evolution here and just completely turns everything around. I mean, everything just changed. Suddenly I had everything. I had hold, texture, a good finish. I mean, really, you couldn't beat it with a stick. Here's a look about six hours in too, and here we can see things stay pretty much just the same. Endurance here on this doesn't seem to be a problem at all. Now that we've covered dry hair, wet hair, endurance, restyling, you might say to yourself, we've covered it all. But no, this little jar of magic's got one more trick up its cap. That's right, it's still got tricks up its cap in the form of next day styling. Arising with the dawn presents us with the usual messy hair, but friends, let me tell you, this is far from usual. This product here is about to blow our second day styling minds because when we just throw some water up top and then add in a little blow dry action, here's what we're left with. And I didn't even need any more product. That's right, I didn't actually add any more in and I'm still actually wearing it right now. I know. <sighs> Overall, this product really was one that totally surprised me. I never actually go into a review assuming a product is going to be good or bad, but it's not that often that a product really performs way different than expected. Even explaining what I think about this product really took a little extra effort, I feel, because of how different the product performed for me based on what I did. On dry hair, meaning styling on dry hair, I feel like the finish instantly was great. The hold was right around a medium, maybe the lighter end of medium, but the styling was super easy. It also held up really nice too. The volume on it was really nice, but I didn't see a lot of texture on the dry hair. That was really my only negative thing. On damp hair though, things did a total 180 on me. I used half as much and got twice the hold, which was pretty sweet. It actually really just felt like I was using an oil-based pomade. I mean, my hair really just felt like I had a gritty medium oil-based up there at first, so I didn't know how it was going to end up after it dried. After it did, it totally changed. It felt soft and light in the hair. The volume and texture was much more present and then it too lasted forever so really it was like a totally different product the scent on here is super light i'm not a huge fan of lavender you guys already know i have like a death allergy to scents but this one was so light that i didn't mind it at all where things got a little bit hairy though was the washout remember i said this stuff feels like an oil base in the hair well it feels that way when you go to wash it out too i think it took about three washes with a heavy shampoo to actually get it out completely which is quite a bit but for those that use oil base a lot this may not be a big deal for you and as I demonstrated a minute ago that does leave you open for the excellent next day styling benefit that this product offers which is really nice long story short though if you're looking for a product that's totally different that has awesome benefits like all natural ingredients and really nice styling ability then this clay might be something for you guys to look into comparison wise there's not a lot out there that really compare to it although I did see a little bit of gritty business from Kevin Murphy in there just a tiny little bit it has a very very similar consistency to that, but performance wise, it's very different and very unique. If you want to check out Jack Henry, I'll throw a link down below for you along with a coupon code to save you a little money. If you did like this video, make sure you smash that like button for me and drop me a comment as well. And don't forget to help me out and hit that subscribe button. Definitely do that. I do believe that's it for today's episode. I hope everyone has an awesome weekend. Take it easy. I'll see you guys next time.